students, let us now discuss about the egg-laying animals. You must have seen a hen. Do you know how a hen reproduces its chicks? A hen first lays an egg and then its baby comes out of its egg. Now this is a crow. A crow also first lays eggs and then its baby comes out of its egg. So, a hen and a crow reproduce by laying eggs. Birds like a pigeon, a parrot, a sparrow and a dove also reproduce by laying eggs. All the birds reproduce by laying eggs. Birds lay their eggs in nests. You must have seen a crocodile. A crocodile is found in water as well as on land, isn't it? A crocodile also lays eggs to reproduce. Though it is found both in water and on land, it lays its eggs only on land. Likewise, a snake also reproduces by laying eggs. An alligator reproduces by laying eggs. A lizard also reproduces by laying eggs. All the reptiles reproduce by laying eggs. You all love to chase butterflies in your gardens, don't you? Have you ever wondered how a butterfly reproduces its babies? A butterfly first lays eggs and its baby comes out of the egg. So, a butterfly reproduces by laying eggs. Insects like a cockroach, a dragonfly, a wasp and a housefly also reproduce by laying eggs. All the insects reproduce by laying eggs. Now this is a frog. A frog also lays eggs to reproduce. Similarly, a toad reproduces by laying eggs. A salamander and a newt also reproduce by laying eggs. In other words, all amphibians reproduce by laying eggs. Though the amphibians live both on land and in water, they lay eggs only in the water. You all know that fish swim in water. A fish also reproduces by laying eggs. All fish reproduce by laying eggs. Fish, too, lay their eggs in water. Now you know different animals reproduce by laying eggs. Some of them lay eggs in water and some of them lay eggs on the land. And they do not lay eggs of the same size. The eggs of a bird is bigger in size while the eggs of an insect is very small. 
the egg of an ostrich is the largest egg known. The eggs differ in color too. Dear students, we have learned about the different egg-laying animals. Now let us discuss how the eggs hatch into babies. The hen first lays the egg. A hen lays only one egg at a time. After laying the eggs, it continuously sits over its eggs, covering them under the feathers for many days. The feathers give warmth to the eggs. The chick inside the egg develops and grows with the help of the warmth. After 21 days, the egg breaks and the chick comes out of the shell. It is called hatching. So, a hen lays eggs and hatches chicken. Birds like a parrot, a dove, a sparrow and a swallow also first lay eggs in their nests. Then, the mother bird covers the egg under the feathers. Sometimes, a father bird also may cover the egg under its feather. Feathers give warmth to the egg. The baby bird develops and grows inside the egg. Finally, the egg is hatched and the baby bird comes out of the egg. This is a parent pigeon and these are baby pigeons. The baby pigeons are very small and helpless. They cannot fly. Neither can they search for their food themselves. So, the parent pigeon brings food for them. When the baby pigeons grow up and learn to fly, they search and eat food for themselves. Until then, the parent pigeon brings food for them and cares for them. Like a pigeon, all the birds care for their babies. Students, insects also reproduce by laying eggs, don't they? Look at the eggs on the lower part of this leaf. These are eggs of a butterfly. The eggs of a butterfly are very small. A butterfly lays its eggs on different parts of a plant. A hen lays only one egg at a time. But a butterfly lays many eggs at a time. Depending on the type of butterfly, butterfly eggs may be yellow, white or green in color. The eggs of a butterfly do not hatch into an adult directly like that of a bird. The egg of a butterfly first hatches into a worm-like animal. This is called a larva. A butterfly does not care for their babies like the birds do. So, the larva has to search for the food itself. 
a larva eats lots of food. It is a voracious feeder. Then the larva grows into a pupa. A pupa does not eat any food. The pupa is the inactive stage of the butterfly. After a few days, a pupa develops into an adult butterfly. So, there are different stages in its life cycle. They are egg, larva, pupa and adult. Like a butterfly, insects like a beetle, a moth and a mosquito also have four stages in their life cycle. Most insects have four stages in their life cycle. But unlike most insects, a cockroach has only three stages in its life cycle. They are egg, nymph and adult. But insects do not care for their babies. Students, you all know that a frog lives both on land as well as in the water, but it lays eggs only in the water. That is why a frog lays its eggs only in the rainy season. Like insects, a frog also lays many eggs at a time. A frog may lay up to 4,000 eggs at a time. Isn't that amazing? Look at these eggs of a frog. You can see a layer covering them. This is the layer of jelly. The layer of jelly helps the eggs to float on the water. It also protects the eggs from being damaged. After three weeks, the eggs of the frog hatch into tadpoles. A tadpole looks like a fish. Like a fish, it also breathes through its gills. The tadpole does not have legs. After some time, its legs begin to develop. And the tadpole loses its tail. After a few weeks, the tadpole develops into an adult frog. An adult frog breathes through its skin in the water and through its lungs on land. Like reptiles, amphibians like a frog and a tadpole also do not take care of their eggs. Students, you all know that a fish lives in the water only. So, a fish lays its eggs in the water. The eggs of a fish float freely on water. Sometimes, they may also stick to some objects in the water. Like the eggs of a frog, the eggs of a fish are also known as spawn. 
Fishes usually lay eggs in summer or spring. In summer or spring, the water is warm enough for a fish egg to hatch. The eggs of a fish hatches into baby fish. The baby fish is known as a fry. The fry grows into an adult fish. Like insects, reptiles and frogs, fishes also do not take care of their eggs. Students, you all know that a frog lives both on land as well as in the water, but it lays eggs only in the water. That is why a frog lays its eggs only in the rainy season. Like insects, a frog also lays many eggs at a time. A frog may lay up to 4,000 eggs at a time. Isn't that amazing? Look at these eggs of a frog. You can see a layer covering them. This is the layer of jelly. The layer of jelly helps the eggs to float on the water. It also protects the eggs from being damaged. After three weeks, the eggs of the frog hatch into tadpoles. A tadpole looks like a fish. Like a fish, it also breathes through its gills. The tadpole does not have legs. After some time, its legs begin to develop. And the tadpole loses its tail. After a few weeks, the tadpole develops into an adult frog. An adult frog breathes through its skin in the water and through its lungs on land. Like reptiles, amphibians, like a frog and a tadpole, also do not take care of their eggs.